Hi, welcome to Yoga Today. I'm Nikki Beck, and this morning we are going to do a foam roller class. So you're going to need a foam roller. It doesn't matter on the density or the length of it. It can be the half or the full. Then we will roll out the back, get some breath work going, and just really sink into our day. We are going to get started in child's pose using the roller. So go ahead and place the roller towards the front edge of your mat. The knees can be together or out wide. It's up to you. You're going to press the hips back and allow the hands or the wrists to stay on top of the roller. Let the head sink down and place the forehead on the mat. Go ahead and soften the gaze or close the eyes. We're going to begin class with three big breaths. And with each breath we take, you're going to think of one thing you're grateful for. It could be big or small or as simple as I'm grateful for being in class right now. Go ahead and take a nice big inhale. Think of the first thing you are grateful for. Exhale, sighing and releasing it out. Inhale, think of the second thing you are grateful for. Exhale, sigh and release out. Inhale, think of the third thing you are grateful for. Exhale, sigh and release out. On that next breath, you're going to draw the shoulders down your back, pulling your roller in towards you. You're going to inhale, lifting the heart, opening the collarbones, and getting a gentle back extension through the thoracic spine. Pull the belly in to protect the lower back. Exhale, go ahead and press the roller away, dropping the chest down. Inhale, draw the shoulders down, lift the heart, open the collarbones, pressing into the roller and a slight external rotation of the shoulders. Exhale, relax and release down. Two more just like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Go ahead and tuck the tail under, draw the belly in, roll all the way up to seated. Go ahead and shift so we're sitting on our bum. Legs are gonna come out straight out in front. They can be wider than the mat. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, press down into the roller to lift the heart, open the collarbones. Flex the feet, reaching through the heels. Exhale, slowly walk the roller out as you flat back forward fold. So you're reaching the heart forward by pressing down on the roller, getting a stretch through the hamstrings. Take one more breath here. Exhale, drop the chest down. Tuck the tail under, rolling back up the spine, rolling the roller in. Head is the last to come up. Inhale, lift the heart, open the collarbones. Flat back, forward fold, walk the roller out. Hold here for a breath. And then exhale. Forward fold, tuck the tail under, draw the abdominals in, bring the roller in, and stack back up. Inhale, lift the heart, extend, reaching through the heels one last time. Walk that roller out, lengthen through the spine, nice big hamstring stretch, hold for a breath. Exhale, forward fold, tuck the tail under, draw the abdominals in, stack back up bring the roller back up with you. Go ahead and grab a hold of your roller, bring the feet together, scoot towards the front edge of your mat so we have some room behind us. You're going to take the roller and you're going to place it underneath your shoulder blades. So you can kind of play with where it's at and where it's comfortable for you, but we don't want to roll on the ribs and we don't want to roll on the neck. Shoulder blades. Interlace the fingers, allow the head to be heavy in the hands. You're going to lift the hips up, and we're just gonna roll back and forth. It's not a big movement. We're just opening up the upper back. This should feel pretty good. You can roll to one side if you'd like to add a little bit more pressure and then roll back and forth a few times on that side. And then you can switch and do the same thing on the other side. Once that feels good, come back to center, sit the hips down. The roller's hips kind of slid out from under your shoulders. 
No big deal. Give it a little adjustment and slide it back in. So it's going under the shoulder blades again. And again, find those little micro adjustments that help you. Interlace those fingers, place them behind the head. Reach the elbows out wide, draw the belly in. Take an inhale, reach up and over your roller. So we're doing this gentle back bend. So we're not collapsing into it, even though sometimes that feels good. We don't want to compress the spine. Exhale, draw the ribs down, nod the chin to your chest to curl back up. Go ahead and move through a few of those, your own breath, your own pace, just opening up the back. Maybe you open the elbows wide. But whenever you come up, you always nod the chin in and protect the neck to lift back up. Let's move through two more of these. Big inhale. And then exhale. One more. This time, reach up and over, but only go halfway. Draw the ribs down, engage the abs. Then from here, you're gonna side bend over to the right, reaching your left elbow up and over your head, trying to keep your hips still. Nice big side body stretch. Slowly come back into center, and then side bend over to the left, actively reaching through the right elbow. Come back into center, and then over to the right. You can hold this as long as you would like. And back. And take notice, one side may be tighter than the other. It may be how you're standing, how you're sitting, how we slept all last night. And then let's do one more on each side. And left. Come back to center, nod your chin into your chest and curl up. So we want the roller underneath the shoulders. So you're gonna adjust it just a bit. So it's gonna help give us this height and this forward flexion in the spine. Now you have a perfect view of your pelvis and we're gonna keep it still. You're gonna interlace those fingers, place them behind your head, reach the elbows forward to close the ribs together and pull them down towards your hips. When you're ready, bring the right leg up. You're gonna extend the right leg out and then you're gonna draw it back into your chest. Keeping the pelvis still, we're just warming up the core a bit. Don't worry, we're not gonna get intense with our abs today. It's just supposed to be a nice mellow class because we worked so hard all week on our series. Very proud of you guys. Three more. Two more. Last one. Bring the leg back in. Place the right foot on the mat. Curl up just a little bit more so we're light on the roller. Bring the left leg up. Extend the left leg out. Draw the belly up and in to pull the leg back into center. Find a nice breath pattern that works for you. I like to exhale as the leg goes out and inhale as I draw it back to your center. But I can tell you why it works the other way too, so you can pick. Three, two, one, back into center, lower the leg down, lift up a little bit higher. You're gonna bring the right leg up, pull the belly up and in, bring the left leg up. Extend the right leg out, exhale, switch. So you exhale as we switch. Find a range of motion that works. Maybe the legs don't go quite as low because both of them are moving. So we wanna protect your back. We're gonna keep moving for three, Two, last one. Bring the legs up, lower one, lower the other, then scoot down on your roller just a bit, and then reach up and over for one more big stretch. If it's okay with your back and feels good, you can extend one leg out, and then gently extend the other leg out to get a nice big stretch through the front side of the body and through the core. And then slowly bend the legs to bring them back in. Nod your chin into your chest and we're gonna curl back up. So we're gonna roll over to our left. Knees are gonna be bent, so we're curled up on our side. Let's place the left elbow on the roller. The right hand's gonna guide it. Place the head on the hand and we're gonna roll out our tricep and then we're gonna hit our rotator cuff trigger point. It's gonna feel great. So extending out, pressing the elbow away, 
and then drawing the abs in to pull the roller back in and up. So we're just rolling out the tricep. You can use the right hand to help guide you. You can go as slow as you would like. And then you can roll forward just a little bit. And then maybe back a bit. So get all sides of the tricep. Okay, once you feel like that's nice and rolled out, then go ahead and stop when the roller is under the armpit. Keep resting the head and the hand, and you're just gonna rock forwards, and then we're gonna slowly rock backwards. So we're opening up our rotator cuff. Sometimes when the shoulders are really tight, it can aggravate the neck and the back. And then let's go forward one more time. And back. Come back into center and then go ahead and slowly guide yourself up to seated. And we're gonna flip over and do the same thing on the other side. Knees are gonna be bent. This time, right elbow is gonna go on the roller. Left hand goes on the top of the roller. Rest the head down on the right hand. Go ahead and press out, rolling out the right tricep. Then you can lean forwards a little bit. So we're just getting all sides of the tricep. We wanna make sure they're all nice and rolled out evenly. And then lean back a little. And then we're gonna stop once the roller is underneath the armpit. Allow the shoulder to be having kind of melt over the roller. And then you're just gonna rock back and forwards. You can go as slow as you'd like. And if you find any sticky spots here, you can just stop and hang out. One more time. And then go ahead and guide yourself up to a seated position. So you're gonna flip around, so our bum's on the mat. We're is gonna go out in front of us and we're gonna guide ourselves down onto our back. So draw the belly in, slowly lowering yourself down. You're gonna slide the feet in, play some hip distance apart. Lift your bum off the mat and you're gonna slide your roller underneath the hips. So it's not on your lower back and it's not on your bum. So it's right on the pelvis. Then you can hold the outside of the roller to keep it nice and still. Bring the right leg up to a tabletop. Balancing on your shoulders, the weight is not in your neck. Draw the abs in, bring the left leg up. From here, you're gonna lower the right toes down towards the mat. They do not have to touch. Draw the belly in to lift them back up. Left leg's gonna lower. Draw the belly in to lift and then switch. So we're starting to uh, engage our lower abdominals, lifting the pelvic floor and pulling the hips together. Let's go for two more on each side. Check in to make sure the neck is relaxed and the ribs are drawing down towards the hips. Last one on the right, last one on the left. Then you're gonna extend the right leg up towards the ceiling. Externally rotate it just slightly. If you have tight hamstrings, you can keep a bend in the knee. You're gonna lower the leg down towards the mat as you do pull the belly up. Externally rotate the leg more, just circle it out to the right and then back up to center. So we're drawing this big uppercase D. Lower it down, externally rotate it up to center. As the leg circles around, we're stabilizing our pelvis by lifting the pelvic floor and pulling the two hips together. So we're gaining stability in the joint, but it should feel like a nice little massage. I don't know about you, but I don't do this too often, just circling my legs all over. Lower and up. Three 
three more. Two more. Last one. And then bend the right leg. Restabilize. If you've moved around a little bit, no big deal. Just make sure the roller is in a good spot. Engage the abdominals. Extend the left leg. Slightly externally rotate it. Draw the abs in. Lower the leg straight down towards the floor. And then externally rotate it to the left and back up to center. Lower down. Same thing, abs are engaged and we're finding this nice fluid motion. If you find some sticky stats, no big deal, but take notice of them and then hopefully we can work them out when we roll. Three more. Two more. Last one. And back up. Bend the knees. Go ahead and bend your right knee into your chest. And then extend the left leg out long. Grab a hold of your right shin with both hands and gently pull the leg in towards your chest. From here, squeeze your left glute. And imagine that someone came in front of you and pulled your leg long. Hold that. Keep holding and keep squeezing that glute. We're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and now slowly release the glute and allow the leg to float down towards the mat for a nice passive hip flexor stretch. Then you're gonna bend the left knee into your chest. Once you're ready, grab a hold of the left shin, straighten out the right leg. So reach it long, allowing that leg to hover over the mat. Squeeze your right glute this time. And then imagine that someone came and pulled your right leg out of its socket. It's getting so long. Keep squeezing, keep holding. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then gently start releasing the right glute, allowing the right leg to float down towards the mat, opening up through the hip flexor. Once it hits the mat, then we can slowly bring it back into our chest. Lower the left leg down onto the mat and then lower the right leg. You're gonna lift your hips up and slide the roller down. So now it's gonna be under our thighs. Reach the arms up overhead. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, nod your chin into your chest, draw the abdominals in and we'll slowly roll up to seated or come up however you can. Then we're gonna place the roller under our hamstrings. Do not roll on the back of the knees. They don't like it. Press into the mat, lift the hips, and we're just gonna roll front to back. So your goal is to keep the legs as relaxed as you can. Then we're gonna externally rotate the legs. So lift one leg up, and turn it out to the side. Lift the other and turn it out to the side. Go ahead and roll again. Back and forth, same thing. The leg is so relaxed. It's like when you get a massage, if you were tense the entire time, it's going to hurt afterwards and you're gonna be sore and kind of defeats the whole purpose. So same thing here. Be really relaxed and allow the roller to do the work. Then come back to center, drop your bum down. You're gonna take the roller and scoot it over towards your left leg. From here, you're gonna slide forwards just a little bit, and then you can cross the right leg over the left, above the knee. So we're gonna add just a little bit more pressure. Internally rotate the leg, and then we're gonna roll here. Roll back and forth a few times. Then bring the leg back into neutral. Roll back and forth a few times here. And then externally rotate it just slightly, getting into the IT band. I know that part's sensitive. 
and then back into center, lower the hips down, and we're going to slide the roller over to the right. Same thing on the right leg. So you're going to cross the left leg over, above the knee, lift the hips, and then internally rotate the right leg, and roll back and forth. And cross the left leg over the right, above the knee. Internally rotate the right leg just slightly, and then we're going to roll back and forth a few times, internally rotated. Rolling out the adductors. Come back into center. And we'll roll a few times here. And then rotate over to the right. Getting into the IT band. Come back into center. And then we're going to lower the hips down. So we're going to slide the roller under the bum. And we're going to start by crossing the left leg over the right. You can keep it here if you'd like a little bit more. You can hold on to the ankle and then roll to the left. Left leg's cross, rolling left. All right, on the same page, let's roll back and forth a few times here, opening up through the glutes. You can roll up on the pelvis. Do not roll on the lower back. And then you can find all those little micro adjustments. So just moving around slightly to try and open up more of the glutes. And once that side feels pretty good, go ahead and stop. Uncross the leg, and then we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Cross the right leg over for like a figure four stretch. If you'd like to grab onto the ankle, you can. You can roll over to the right just slightly. Relax that right glute, and then roll, roll. Again, don't roll on the back. Couple more times on this side. And then come back into center. We're gonna release. So let's come off the roller, grab a hold of your roller, and we're gonna roll out our quads. So place the roller out in the middle of your mat. You're gonna lower down onto the quads and on the forearms. Do not roll on your knee, but you can roll up on your hip flexor. So up into your hip bone. Soften the legs. This one's really easy to kind of tense the quads. Don't do that. All right, once they're nice and soft and they're melting over the roller, go ahead and roll back and forth, stopping before you hit the knees. If you have long legs, you can do this in sections. So maybe you roll back and forth a little bit above the knee. Once that feels pretty good, then you can shift the roller and then roll up a little higher into the hip flexors. I have very short legs, so I can kind of get it in one swoop. Then, once that feels pretty good, lift one leg, externally rotate it. Lift the other leg, externally rotate it. So the toes are facing out. So now we're rolling on the inside of the quads. And roll back and forth a handful of times here. Once that feels pretty good, go ahead and pause, and then you're going to lift one leg, internally rotate it. It's kind of awkward here. It doesn't have to be a big internal rotation. And then do the same for the other leg. And we'll roll back and forth. Every time we do this, make sure the legs are really relaxed. If you find some sore, tender spots, like, ooh, right there, Go ahead and just hold and then relax. Try and allow the quads to get a little bit heavier over the roller. So it's a little bit more of a trigger point pressure instead of the constant back and forth. But the body changes daily. So honor that and figure out what you need today, right? Your best instructor. I'm just here to give you some guidance. And let's go back and forth just a couple more times. You can kind of play with what feels better, internal, external rotation. And then we're going to pause, and we're going to slide the roller up into the left hip flexor. So you're going to rotate to the left just a little. 
The right knee can come out to the side. If you have room on your roller, it can come on the roller or it can go behind it. It's up to you. But you're gonna lie down and you're just gonna lower the chest as much as you can just to get a little opening in the hip flexor. So we're allowing it to melt over the side. Let's take two big breaths here. Come back into center. And then we're gonna switch, straighten out the right leg. Rotate over to the right, placing the left knee on the ground or on the roller. Finding right. Oh, in the sore spot of the hip flexor, and then begin to lower down. One more big breath. And then we'll return back to center. Go ahead and press yourself up, and you're going to shift your hips back. So we're going to come back into a child's pose like we did to start class. But you have a couple options. Hands can be on the roller, they can be on the floor, or if you want a deeper stretch in the shoulders, knees can go wide. Elbows can come on top of the roller. Hands can come together. Drop the chest down and then drop the head down towards the floor. Once you're here, bring your hands in prayer pose towards your back and then allow to just sink in wherever you are. We're gonna seal in our practice with three breaths and go back to that gratitude practice. So with every inhale, we're gonna think of one thing we're grateful for, and it can be something different from the beginning of class, maybe something shifted or changed. Let's take a nice big inhale, think of the first thing you are grateful for. Exhale, relax, release, and sign it out. Inhale, think of the second thing you are grateful for. Exhale. Inhale, think of the third thing you are grateful for. And exhale. You can stay here as long as you would like or adjust yourself into a child's pose that is not lifted. Go ahead and breathe into it, relax, and seal in that practice. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, and I look forward to practicing with you soon here on Yoga Today.